Hey you guys, it's Peter. And I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Boost! <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now. Available 2018. The album, Dad. AF. All right, let's get right in this video. I hate filming videos at night in here because the lighting is so bad, even with the ring light, that it makes my skin look, look it makes it look blue. What is going on with that? I look like that girl from uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Anyway, um, I'm getting ready to go to LA tomorrow. I'm so excited about it. I have some things planned, um, but one of the most exciting one of the most exciting things that I have planned, which is really not about YouTube whatsoever, is that I am meeting up with, well, I mean, it's kind of, because she and I are going to make a video, but I'm meeting up with an old friend of mine from way back in the day, and um, we're going to go out to dinner or lunch, and then we're also going to make a video. To, I have some, listen, I got some things I'm doing out there, don't worry, this isn't the only thing, but anyway, but I'm really excited about it because she and I are going to sit down and I'm going to have her kind of, well, she has kind of like her own thing going on, which I'm going to talk about on here. But I'm also going to um, have her talk about <laughs> what Peter was like back in the day. So stay tuned because that video will be coming up in the next couple days. Um, but I'm really excited about this trip. So I wanted to just do kind of like an, uh, you know, Q&A tonight. And so I put up on Instagram, hey, like ask me my opinion about YouTubers or whatever. And I'll do a video about it. I don't really know what I said. But anyway, within two hours of me putting this post up, I cannot tell you how many responses I got. I mean, it was overwhelming. And literally almost every single one of them was, we just wanna know, here I'll put up an example right here. We just wanna know what you think about Trisha and Jason and the David Dobrik video. So, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Trisha put a video out, I think it was like 18 minutes. I watched it literally, I mean, at the time that I watched it, it said it had zero views on it. So I watched it like as soon as she posted it. And, um, it's 18 minutes of a very emotional video, and I really had a hard time watching this video, um, and I'm just going to give my total response to it. I am going to ask that if you leave any comments in here, no matter what your feelings are about it, please try to be somewhat nice in how you say things. I think, I think we can have opinions and still be nice, right? So anyway, um, and uh, my opinion is kind of vary on this whole thing. So she goes in there and she describes this whole thing, and she kind of like talks a lot about David Dobrik in this thing. Um, and it's this whole situation that was kind of like this ongoing joke about, uh, like, she, like da Jason at some point had made a comment about, to, to David Dobrik, about that if he was ever going to have a threesome, it would be with Trisha and Tana, and Tana, like, Trisha's feelings were hurt over it, but she just really never said anything, and so anyway, and then it kind of goes on, the story's deeper, go over and watch Trisha's video if you want, like, the whole story on it, right? So she goes in and she said that now that it's out, like now that people know about it because like the, the vlog is out and stuff like that and that um, she has to address it. And she's like, I can't continue to hide. Like this isn't really going on, right? And you can really tell that she's very pained in this video. Now I will tell you, I am somebody that has watched Trisha's you know, sitting on the kitchen floor videos for a long time where she gets very, very emotional. And I know people really struggle with believing like what is real, what is not real. And I've said this in my past videos that I don't know that at this point, Trisha can differentiate between like what to put on film and what not to because she has literally lived her life on film for so long. So I always think that like this is just what she does. Like when she's going through something, whether people like it or not, whether it's right or wrong, she just gets on film and she is like, this is where I'm at at the moment. I'm gonna tell you where I'm at and this is, you know, whatever. And so it was interesting watching the video because she says at one point at the beginning, she goes, I guess Jason and I are over or something to that effect. Um, she didn't say like, I called him and I broke up. It's done. I'm never going to talk to him again. She said, I guess we're over or something like that, which I thought was interesting. I will tell you, and I know people are going to go up in arms when this happens, but Trish, I think Trisha and Jason will work things out. I do. Um, <clears throat> whether people agree with that or not, I think it's, you know, what's going to end up happening. And, um, and she even, she went in there and she talked a lot about like how they were on different paths and you know, that the relationship really wasn't healthy for her, but she stayed in it because, and listen, we've all been in those relationships. All of us have been in those relationships before, you know? And I think the thing about Trisha is this, is either, <clears throat> I think you get very real with those honest parts of your emotional self and that's what you relate to with Trisha or she's just a big turn off. I, do, I think it's like, you know, one or the other. I think there is no in between for people that watch her. So I think that's why people either really like her or they really don't like her, if that makes sense. So she goes in this thing and you can just tell she is so pained over this. You know, this is much different than the videos that she's made that were very emotional like this in the past because she comes out and she says a lot about David Dobrik. She comes out and she says a lot about, um, 
about the vlog squad and things like that. Basically, okay, if she and Jason were to get back together, like, they're not gonna accept any kind of, probably, apology after this. I mean, she said enough that, you know, she made some pretty damaging statements in this thing that I don't know that even if she was, like, welcomed back and her and Jason worked things out, that people would look at her the same way again because it's like, okay, well, you said this about me, now this. Um, so I, th I think that enough shows how much pain she really, really is in. And, um, you know, then she went into this whole thing and she was talking about... Jason's wife and all this kind of stuff, ex-wife and all this kind of stuff. Okay, this was the part of the video, like, I really felt for her. I really, I, I had a lot of sympathy for her while I was watching this video and a lot of empathy. But the part where she was talking, I, I was like, and, I, and I'll be on. in all honesty, I, I, I texted Trisha. She did not respond. And I said, hey, girl, I just want you to know I'm thinking about you. Like, you know what? Um, but the thing is... <laughs> I think, there, and this is where there's a difficulty in getting on video, and I've done it in the past, where you're very, very emotional, because you're not really thinking through what you're saying, you're reacting, you're not responding, and like on my Peterisms videos, I talk a lot about the difference between reacting and responding, you know, and that reacting is like when somebody hits you, you want to hit them back, right, immediately, because it's like, ouch, right? And then responding is somebody hits you and you go, ow, like that kind of hurt. You think it through, you process it, you think about what you want to say, and then you put it out, right? I have worked really hard on being more responsive in, instead of being reactionary. And it's really helped me in my life, you know, in the last couple months. I think it's something that would be really good for Trisha to learn as well. And I think it's a difficult thing. I mean, it's taken me years to learn that, you know? Um, but this is a very reactionary video of what was going on at the moment for Trisha, I think. Because she talks a lot about Jason's ex in there. And I just was like, mm, girl, like this is, mm, no. Like we, I understand you have issues with this, but maybe like, this is not somebody that's chosen to live in the public eye. Like, let's just leave this over here, right? And that was the one issue that I had with the whole video where she was talking about all that kind of stuff. And it was interesting because I was sitting there watching it and, you know, my gut told me they'll work things out. Like they've worked things out in the past and I think they'll work things out again. Whether people agree that he's good for her or not, or whether people agree that Jason is good, that she's good for Jason or not, whatever our, whatever we believe sitting on this side of the camera, like there's something between them that does kind of work on some level, you know? Um, and so my gut was telling me like, okay, this is going to go by, they're going to work things out and whatever. But Trisha said so much in this video, it's like, you know, like... <laughs> We've all had these breakups before, right? Where you go and you go and you go and then you say that thing and then like it can't be taken back, right? Like you can't go back to where it's like Thelma and Louise, you know? When Thelma in the movie, she goes, you know, like if you're thinking about going back, I can't go back. Something's changed in me and I'm not the same person anymore. Okay, that was this video. Like she said a lot. And I don't know how you go in and you take a lot of that back. Whether you are in pain or not, I don't know how you do that. So, you know, I don't know. I... I'd be interested to know what you guys think in the comment section below. But like I said, you know, be open, be fair, you know, let's be nice and considerate. At the same time, I have to say, having watched Trisha's videos for a long time now, you know, um, <sighs> Trisha, if you're watching this, I just want to say, you know, uh, sw sweetheart, like, we've got to figure out for you, like, or you've got to figure out working with somebody, I don't know, maybe getting a counselor or something, where you can figure out these patterns in your life that keep on repeating themselves over and over and over again. I do believe that Trisha has the capacity to be very, very happy in a relationship. And I, and what's interesting to me is in the last year, you know, and I've said this a lot and like, I, I, whenever I say this, people are kind of like, Oh, I don't know. I agree with that or not. But if you think about your own relationship, you know, very few relationships are just always even or always very, very high. There's like, I mean, we go, we have ups and downs, right? I mean, all relationships have arguments. All relationships have difficulties in them. I think Trisha and Jason have shown that in the last year, but they've shown a lot of joy too. They've shown a lot of them really working together and how the relationship has seemed to work. Trisha Paytas has the capacity to be loved and to love. She definitely has, and I definitely believe that she deserves that. I believe that anybody deserves to be loved. I really, really do. And I believe that anybody deserves to have, you know, a healthy relationship. But we also have to look at our part in relationships and what we're doing. And, I, and she didn't do anything for this joke to be brought on to her or the behaviors or anything. She didn't ask for that whatsoever. And that's where I think, 
you know, working with somebody would be really healthy for her to be able to learn how to set limits and boundaries and realize I am lovable, I am worthy of being loved, and I deserve to be loved, and this is how it's going to happen. But that pattern has to be broke first before she can go on and have that. I don't know. What did you guys think about the video? Were you surprised that she can't? I mean, she kind of came out of the gate and just really demolished David Dobrik. I was really surprised. And she even said in there, you know, there was a part where she really, really liked him and you know, she really thought he was just a really nice, genuine guy. And she was like, yeah, but that's not the case anymore. It was interesting to me in the video. And I so relate to this too. Like in, when I was younger and breakups and stuff that the attention almost seemed more on David Dobrik than it did on Jason. Like she, like ha she really could not um, grasp that Jason was a bigger part. I mean, even though she, she said a lot about him, but that it was really about David Dobrik. It really wasn't about Jason. Almost that she, in her head, could kind of excuse what had happened on Jason's end because it was David's fault that he was there. And, um, you know, any friend that encourages that kind of stuff, like, I don't really understand that whatsoever. I mean, I've never understood that, okay? Friends that would encourage, you know, just that kind of negativity in somebody's relationship or life. I don't really understand that, but I have to say this about old Trisha, okay? She ain't one to be shut up. And if Jason comes out and makes another video, Trisha will make another video. Trisha will continue to come out. And what she'll say is, you thought you had me in that video? I've got a lot more things to say too. And I'm not going to be shut up. So if you're going to keep on pushing me, I'm going to keep on saying things. So it's going to be interesting. Um, you know, when they were going through their breakup a long time ago, she made a video, Jason made a response. She made a video, Jason made a response. I don't think that's going to happen this time. I do think that Jason will make a response, but I think it will be a very different kind of response than we saw before. Um, and I think it'll be very, very interesting to see what he says and what direction it goes in. I really, really hope for the both of them that this does not become a pissing match towards each other where they both just, you know, listen, we're grown folk, okay? We're hurt, we're in pain, and the thing about when we're in pain is we want somebody else to hurt as bad as we do, and that's always, that's not always necessarily the best thing for us at that time, you know? Because down the road, that sometimes hurts us more just because we want somebody else you know, we always want to tell on somebody. We always want to show somebody, you know, or show show the world who somebody really is. But down the road, that might hurt us more. So I hope they don't do this. I hope they don't just air out all their dirty laundry and start just telling on each other. Because I don't think that's helpful to either one of them, you know. And I don't know. The whole thing makes me very, very sad. I don't wish this on anybody, you know. I wish love on people. And I wish people to have happy, healthy relationships. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm going to do the q and I am also going to do a response to Shane's conspiracy video. Because a lot of people have asked for that. I love you. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.